welcome back to another Financial Freedom Edge. I know, that's kind of stupid, but you know, you everybody's got to have a hook. So today I want to talk to you guys about getting rich. Getting rich. I think if you are searching for the type of videos that I'm putting out, you probably are not content with where you're at financially. And I have a whole slew of recommendations for you, one of them being exactly what I'm doing right now. Today is Saturday, it's 1247, it's 78 degrees, and I am door knocking foreclosure properties, pre-foreclosure, uh, uh, burnt properties, water shut off you know, properties, uh, there's there's a, a bunch of lists that you can get for free or very cheap and you on your days off because yes I know you probably have some days off and if you don't I know there's some time you have after work so if you're trying to get rich you got to work more that's not just what it is so you know is it door knocking and trying to you know get get a low ball cash offer accepted by a homeowner uh, you know, that may not be your thing. It, it may not. So you don't have to do this, but you have to do something. Uh, another one of my side hustles is real estate photography. I'm not really a photographer, but you know, you, you, you watch some YouTube videos, you figure it out, you cold call, you connect with some, some other photographers and you provide services that they don't. And you just, you know, create a win-win situation for their client. Boom. You have, now you are a referral right now. People give there, you know, I have, I have photographers all the time that say, oh, I don't do 3D virtual tours, but uh, Brandon does, and, and he's my partner, so yeah, I can get that set up for you, no problem. And, and you know, I tell them, hey, it's 200 bucks, you need to pay me 200 bucks. So they tell their client, okay, you gotta pay me 225 for coordinating it and, and happening to know the guy that does it, does an amazing job, shows up on time, gets you your stuff back same day or within 24 hours, that's me, right? So, and, and yes, you know, you got to have some flexibility if you're working at a job, a J-O-B, in an office, and you don't have that flexibility, maybe that's not the side hustle for you. But anyways, the most important thing when it comes to getting rich is you have to make more money. Yes, I said it. I know it's hard to hear, but you're never going to get rich, you know, saving a bunch of money or, you know, let's say you make, let's say you make, you know, $5,000 a month or $3,000 a month or, or whatever it is, $10,000. Uh, no matter how much you save, it's going to take you much longer to get rich than if you just made a bunch of money. And I know that's maybe shocking to some people that that's crazy to even think about, but yes, you need to make more money. So there's a bunch of ways you can go about that. You can go to your current job and ask for more hours. You can go to your current job and say, hey, I want more responsibility and I want more money. What can we do? Uh, there's a lot of different ways you can go about this, right? But it always starts with where you're currently at. You know, your current employment situation, right? Hey, can I work more hours? Can I get a pay raise? Uh, if not, then the next thing you need to do is you need to say, okay, well, do I want to donate blood? Do I want to donate plasma? Do I want to start a side hustle? You know, uh, doing landscaping, uh, doing nails, doing people's hair. Do I want to invest in myself and get some more education? Not necessarily college or university, but like just a skill. Um, you know, I'm, I'm struggling. I mean, the the virtual tours that I do, right? It, it took me some time to figure out how to do it. And then I got better the more I did it. So that was like a skill that, you know, most people don't have. Um, is it super difficult? No. Did it take me, you know, just a few, uh, a few weeks to figure it out? Yeah. Um, was it harder to get clients than I thought it would be? Yes. Um, but there is always, always opportunity if you want to go out there and make money. You can groom dogs. You can do affiliate marketing, right? It all just depends on how fast you need the money. If you need the money today, then you need to go trade your time for money. You need to go provide a service, whether that's being a consultant, if you have information when it comes to IT or computers, and you go find a bunch of old people, sorry, not picking, you know, picking on anyone, but if you find people who are older, 
usually not as tech savvy as people my age or younger, you can potentially help them with problems that they're having on their phone, on their tablet. My mom asks me 10 questions a week about how to do stuff and it just, and it's hard to explain it to her over the phone, right? So now I gotta like go over there and show her, right? I would pay somebody if they said, hey, I can go to your mom and I can show her exactly what to do. We can sit there, I can write it down, I can, whatever it is, right? And it's gonna cost you a hundred bucks. That would save me a lot of time and I'd probably pay it. So feel free uh, to, uh, to, to comment down below or email me if you wanna offer that service. Um, but basically, at, at some point in time, you're gonna realize that you need to get into a side hustle or a, flow, a full blown business. Um, Cause at a certain point, I promise you at a certain point, you will not be valuable enough to your employer to for them to pay you what you wanna be paid, right? Unless you're in sales, yeah, there is definitely sales positions where you can make 200, 300, maybe $400,000 a year. Is that common? No. How many people have the sales ability one and then two are good enough to get to that level. Not many people. I'll just be honest with you guys, not many people. There's a lot a lot of people that are scared of sales. They don't wanna pick up the phone, they don't wanna door knock, and that's where you can come in and say, well, shoot, let me try to figure this out. Again, sales is a skill, marketing is a skill. Um, these are all things that take time or money to learn, right? You know, If you don't know anything about sales, start watching YouTube videos, maybe, pay for someone's lecture or TED talk or, or, you know, go, you know, go, there is a countless number of jobs that you can do, uh, where they will pay you based on commission and teach you their whole sales strategy when it comes to door knocking or cold calling, right? You know, there's, uh, you know, uh, pest control companies, there's, um, there's, uh, gosh, uh, all kinds of stuff. I, I, I'm, I'm trying to think of it right now, but you guys know, I mean, you get these, right? People come to your door, try to sell pest control. They try to sell you new windows. They try to sell you whatever, right? So, you know, you could do one of those things and that's a great way to potentially earn while you're learning, right? So here's the deal, you guys. You just, you just have to make a decision. You have to say, I'm going to do the extra work. I've been working seven days a week for over six months now. And that doesn't even include managing my own rental properties, right? So like I have my own personal rental properties that I have to manage. Now I manage Airbnbs on top of door knocking on the weekends, on top of my, you know, the cold calling that I do as like a consultant, right? I'm basically like a paid consultant to cold call for people. Like a, it's like a sniper, like people like, hey, I, I need this particular thing. Cold call your face off until I get it. Okay, you know, if you're willing to pay me. Um, so that's like, you know, and then you just keep stacking stuff and hopefully they're complimentary. I feel like I'm pretty real estate heavy when it comes to my activities, the real estate photography. So, um, you maybe want to diversify, maybe you don't, right? You know, it just depends on how confident you feel in that industry. If everything you do is, is based around flowers and all the bees die and then there's no more flowers, you're in trouble. And, and I, and I think if the bees die, I think we're all in trouble, but you know, that's a, that's another thing. But I just wanted to make this video. Um, yes, saving is important, right? If you make a million dollars a year and spend a million dollars, you're no better off than somebody who is making $30,000 and spending 30,000. Is your lifestyle better? I'm sure it is. But at the end of the day, if you have $0 in your bank account at the end of the year, if you've made a bunch of money and spent it all, that, that doesn't help you, right? You need to buy assets. You need to buy stocks, bonds, gold, cryptocurrency. You need to figure out what it is that you're going to do, real estate, whatever it is, and just invest in that, right? You need to take your money and have your money make money for you. That's, that's the whole point, right? If you want financial freedom, if you wanna get rich, and then if you wanna get wealthy, so this is the pro tip, and I'll end this video here soon. I don't wanna bother you guys with all of my rantings. But if you wanna get rich, you need to work more. You need to make more money. If you wanna get wealthy, you need to buy assets. They're to two totally different things. I know of a bunch of people that are high earners 
make way more than I do, but have no assets. Who's going to retire first? Well, if they start investing, they could probably still beat me, even though I have a head start. I have three properties, right? Um, so they could probably beat me. But if they just want to keep blowing their money, they're going to continue to have to work until the day they die, right? So that's why I'm throwing all of the little bits of money that I get, I'm trying to throw it into paying off high interest debt because yes, now I have a home equity line of credit at 9.5% that I need to pay off. So I'm doing that. And then everything else, you know, you throw into investments. You know, I, I, I'm, I'm looking at being tax advantaged, right? So I make sure that I, you know, max out my HSA. I make sure that I max out my Roth, uh, Roth IRA, right? Those things uh, are important. They save you money on taxes, even, you know, 20%, 30%, right? You know, check with your CPA. But, you know, but, and again, and maybe that's not the most important thing for you, right? Maybe you're still trying to figure out how to make more money before you can, you know, worry about uh, saving money on taxes. Maybe you need to make more money first, right? So it's basically priorities. But the first problem that most people run into is a lack of money. And you need to you just, you need to do something. You need to do extra, right? Like if you think you're working hard right now, think of how hard it's going to be when you're retired living on social security, right? If it's hard now, it's only going to get worse. So while you have the youth and the vigor and the energy, set yourself up for success right now, right? Enjoy life while you can, but you understand, you must understand that you're going to get older and you're not gonna have the energy that you have now. If it's hard now, it's only gonna get harder later. I promise you. I know this, I talk to people who are in their 40s, 50s, and 60s, and I promise, me being 31, I am just out there hustling, out here grinding, because I don't want to have to do what I'm doing now when I'm 50 and 60. I don't think I could. I'd have to take a nap. So just be wary of that. Think of yourself in the future and try to prepare now. Uh, if you want a list of all the different things you could possibly do, I could make something like that. But really, it comes down to what are you willing to do, right? If you want money so bad you're willing to do to do anything, go knock on doors and offer to pick up dog crap, right? That requires no skills, none at all. You need plastic bag and you need two legs and two arms, right? If you don't have two legs and two arms, figure out something that you can do with just your voice. If you don't have a voice, then you gotta figure out what you can do with it on a keyboard, right? You know, figure it out. Where there is a will, there is a way. Catch you next time.